Good morning, everybody. I uh, wanted to talk about a few things today. First of all, I wanted to celebrate the board meeting the other day. I know that sounds a little crazy, but uh, we had a group of students from Central High School, the, the robotics team, come in and do a demonstration. You know, and the robotics part of it was pretty cool, but probably the the more moving part of that was just the students talking about their perseverance, their grit. Um, uh, they talked about uh, vigor in, in, instead of rigor. It was quite amazing. And uh, just the way these students honored the work we're doing in the D51 learning model, as well as the work they're doing with their STEM program, uh, was really cool. Uh, I will tell you, I wrote my dissertation on standards-based grading, and uh, the young lady that was at the presentation uh, in two minutes summed up everything you'll ever need to know about grading and, and philosophy around it. It was, it was quite impressive. So. Uh, so for the kids out at Central, way to go. Great job for the teachers and staff out there. You're doing great work. Really appreciated uh, coming to the board meeting the other night. I know our board members really appreciated it. Very impressive. Good work. Yeah, and, and it, that kind of leads into just some thinking around uh, as a system where we're going and the behaviors that we have all agreed upon and how these kids really represented those. So, you know, those behaviors around lead by example. I mean, I think that's critical in what we do every day and how as professionals across our system, uh, from cooks to custodians to teachers to administrators, how that's truly important that we do lead by example. Um, how we focus on what can be. You know, there's sometimes uh, we get kind of down in the dumps and we, we're looking backwards and thinking, oh man, you know, life's tough. But really the, the potential for what we can be as a system and what we can do for our kids is, is quite limitless. And I think it, it allows us to think of a different way of helping our kids. Uh, you know, championing a culture of continuous growth. Uh, these kids the other night talked a lot about failure and how failure is just one step in learning. And, you know, I think for us as a system, you know, we're taking, you know, a couple steps forward and sometimes it feels like we take a step back. But the truth of it is we're always moving forward and we're continually growing and that, that's super important to our system. You know, we're trying to really foster interdependency. You know, one of the things people talk about is the difficulty with communication and how communication is important. Well, the truth of it is what they're really talking about is interdependency because uh, everything we do uh, is reliant on somebody else or some other system inside of our school district to really move it forward. So, you know, a, a teacher relies on an administrator to give them support. Um, uh, people rely on me to make sure we have a budget that works. I mean, it's all interdependent. And so we need to think about ourselves in that, in that stance and how we can really move our system forward. Um, you know, we really need to talk, talk and, and understand uh, transparency and fostering that because the clearer and cleaner we can communicate out on where we're going and what we're doing, um, the public understands that, our kids understand that, uh, you know, other folks around the state and around the country understand that. So, you know, clear communication is very good. So, all important things. Part of communication right now, um, after some of the safety security concerns, uh, the safety security committee uh, that was actually developed around 2013, we brought that back for a kind of a short stint on looking at what was decided back then, what's changed, and how we can move forward. So, first meeting for that group was last night. Uh, had parents, had kids, had uh, administrators, teachers, uh, community folks. John Marshall from CMU is helping chair that. So really looking forward to the conversations those folks are having and how we can make our schools safer every day. So know that that's in the works right now and we've got some good things going. Really excited about Teacher Appreciation Week coming up. Uh, I don't know if it ought to be a whole week or a whole year, uh, yeah, and, 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 and all staff included, uh, but uh, May, May 2nd through 12th or 11th. Um, and we also have a lot of our community uh, governmental entities, uh, both city and county, are going to do proclamations around Teacher Appreciation Week. And want to thank them for their support and everything we're doing. Last night I read that the, uh, the city council approved two uh, full-time SRO positions. Uh, so no, we have people out there that are really supporting where we're going, and it's really exciting. So um, always there's rumors out there. Um, I hear them, you hear them. Um, hopefully you're not the one making them up, but just wanted to dispel a couple. Uh, heard the other day that it really won't be a complete reorg unless uh, this person or that person doesn't get a job. You know, uh, the idea behind this was not to single out people and have certain people go away. It was really around pro uh, providing opportunity, looking to put the best people in the best positions to move our system forward. Uh, we do know that's going to result in some people not getting jobs. I absolutely understand that, but this is not a concerted effort to get rid of anybody, and it's really pretty frustrating when I hear those kind of things uh, because if you talk to anybody that's been on these committees you will understand this is a very transparent process everybody has an equal shot at this 
and uh, you know, and, and everybody gets an equal vote sitting on those committees. So know that that's a little frustrating, and it's probably a little hurtful to those people that haven't got a job yet. So understand that. I would also like to uh, say for I think about the third time, um, I keep hearing that there's folks going around telling some of our admin secretaries and secretaries of folks who are you know we're shifting positions that they won't have jobs next year and. You know, I've said it a couple times now, and I'm going to say it again. Uh, that is not the intent of this. Uh, we keep saying it. I keep saying it. Uh, we will have places for those folks. I mean, I think across our system, whether it's in a school or at the district level, we are woefully understaffed with our secretarial pool. So it makes no sense to say we're going to get rid of people. Um, now, there is a process for getting those people in, the, in place, so we got to get everybody hired first. So that it's a, there's a little time lag on that. But, but no, we are committed to making sure folks have a place, they have a job and we're gonna honor their commitment to our system. So, so again, rumors, <laughs> kind of tough to track down, but uh, I, I'm gonna dispel them when I can. So, um, you know, I, I guess I, would, I just wanna close with, as, as I've been going around and just talking to people uh, inside our district and outside of our district, there's just a lot of positive energy right now. Uh, people are super excited about the work you're all doing. They're excited about the work our kids are doing. We're seeing great results out of our kids. Um, you know, we're moving this system forward. We're doing something that really nobody else has done across this country. I'm very proud of that. And we all know we have a lot of work to do, but we're in this together. And I, and I think what you're gonna see out of all this uh, change and turmoil this spring is that we're gonna have a system that's, that's more supportive of schools and moving this forward and around implementation. Um, but that's when the real work's gonna begin again, because you know, it, it, there's gonna be a focus not on design anymore, but about really getting the work done in the classroom so our kids feel that. And uh, you know, and, and I feel the positivity coming out from and folks. So you know, just know that it's out there and we have a lot of support and you have a lot of support. And I appreciate everything you do because I know day to day it's a, it's a tough thing and it's a, a lot of work and people, are, you work a lot of thankless hours and uh, know that I appreciate that. Know there are people in our community that really do appreciate that even if they don't stand up and tell you as often as they should. So thank you so much. Uh, have a wonderful week and I'll be talking to you soon, I'm sure. So thanks and have a great day.